Today, we're going to be checking out chalk paint. Chalk paint is an ultra matte paint that promises a number of awesome features. It's supposed to be sandable, one coat coverage, no primer needed, and sticks to all sorts of surfaces, including bare wood. Let's find out if that's true. The project that we're going to use to test out the chalk paint is this old CNC cabinet that I built a number of years ago. It's made out of really cheap material and is just built with pocket hole joinery. I never got around to building drawer fronts for it, so we'll need to do that, but all of those drawer fronts are going to give us a chance to test out different ways of applying the chalk paint and see what we like the best. Let's get at it. The first thing that I want to paint is the base of the cabinet. This is the largest portion and will give me a good chance to get a feel for how the paint works on a bunch of big flat surfaces before I use it on the drawer fronts. All right, I've got the cabinet outside. I flipped it upside down to make it a little bit easier to spray on. It's set on some painter pyramids. I'm going to spray some Zinsser Bin on this. That's a white shellac because I want to see what that primer will hide when I put the chalk paint on here. Whoa. I've let the paint dry for about an hour Everything is completely dry to the touch. I'm now going to use some 220 grit sandpaper and sand down the whole thing. I'm using this Rust-Oleum chalk paint, mostly because it's the most available and cheapest around. Make sure you use a high quality brush I like Wooster or Purdy, and it should just go on pretty easy. I let all the paint dry overnight and it's looking really good. It didn't need to dry overnight, but I was done painting and done for the day, so I let it dry overnight. It didn't quite give me the full coverage that I wanted. There's a few places where I have some streaks. I think if I had bare wood or that was the look that I was going for, then I would be okay with just the one coat. But I'm going to put a second coat on this, particularly because I have the white primer underneath. Now that the base cabinet is all painted up, let's grab some scrap alder, some plywood, and make ourselves some drawer fronts.
I want to do a different combination of paint and primer for each of the drawer fronts. For this drawer, we're first going to use some latex sandable primer before we apply the chalk paint. This primer will help seal up the pores of the wood and we'll be able to sand it to create a nice, smooth, even base to apply the chalk paint on. After that, we're going to apply just one coat of chalk paint. For this drawer, we're going to take it super easy. One coat of the chalk paint on the bare wood, that's it. For this drawer front, we're going to put on two separate coats of the chalk paint straight onto the bare wood. We put the first coat on the bare wood, let it dry, it takes about half an hour. I let these dry for probably about 45 minutes and then I apply the second coat and that's it for this drawer front. For this drawer front, we're going to test it out using one coat of sandable primer. Let that dry, sand it down, then we're going to apply a coat of chalk paint. Let that dry for about 45 minutes, then without sanding or anything in between that, we're going to apply the second coat of chalk paint. Now that we have everything painted and we've looked over it, let's put them all on the cabinet and see how it looks. Let's talk a little bit about this chalk paint. I think that one coat coverage is with caveats. I think if you're going for a look where you can see through the paint a little bit, then one coat is perfectly fine. I actually like that on bare wood. It can give it a look where it's worn out a little bit. I think especially if you take some sandpaper to it, I will say this paint is extremely sandable. I really like that. In this case, I see a lot of brush marks in the paint. I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that is a look of the chalk paint when you're using the brush. But I did sand a little bit on the back of one of the doors and it sanded up super easy, powdered up, really nice. So it's ultra sandable. And I think that's always great in a paint. Now, because that one coat doesn't really give you full coverage, the primers look bad with just one coat. I actually was planning on doing the case with one coat, but as I painted it, it was streaky and I needed to put on a second coat. I saw that same thing on the drawer front that only has one coat on top of the sandable latex primer. It didn't stick as well as it did on the bare wood and was streaky and I needed to add that second coat and then that streakiness went away. I got the same coverage though when I didn't use the primer and I used two coats on the drawer front. So I think primer with this paint, not worth it. Just do two coats if you want more coverage. And if you want less coverage, I think it's better to see through a little bit if it's on top of bare wood. I know that we only looked at this one chalk paint brand, this Rust-Oleum. It seems to be what's most available around me and I wanted to take a look at it and see what I think. I think for that specific look of brush marks, maybe you're gonna sand it, wear through a little bit. I think the chalk paint works really great for that. Not a very smooth finish, you don't need primer, don't use primer on it. 
Uh, definitely an interesting paint and a fun thing to try out and definitely have in my repertoire depending on the look that I'm going for. If you guys have used other chalk paints or have some other ways that you've applied it that you really like, leave a comment down in the description so other people can learn from that. Thanks so much for watching and take care. Thank you.